Hey there guys, it's Carlos and today we're going to be unlocking the bootloader on the HTC One as well as rooting it and installing a custom ROM. Super big shout out to Hansoon2000, I think that's how you pronounce it, for creating this awesome all-in-one toolkit for the HTC One. So what you want to do first is head over to the link in the XDA form and scroll all the way down and click this link. From there you have to choose your HTC One device depending on what carrier you're on. I'm on the AT&T variant so that's the one I'm going to choose and these steps are basically all the same for every variant of the HTC One and then just download the toolkit. From there you want to extract the toolkit raw file and open up the folder that it was extracted to and select the one toolkit exe file and open it up. So this is the toolkit that will unlock your bootloader and give you a custom ROM and you can also do all sorts of other things like, like clear the cache and boot into the bootloader and just other things that you could basically do with ADB. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to unlock the bootloader. So head over to where it says install HTC drivers and click go. This is going to install the HTC drivers on your computer since we're going to need them. Once that's done, proceed to step 2 which is to register an account with HTC on their HTC dev site. After you register an account, make sure to log into that account that you currently just registered right now. Now we're going to head over to step 3. We have to do one quick thing first. Grab your device and head over to the settings menu, developer options, click ok and turn them on. Then head to debugging and check on USB debugging. That way ADB can communicate with your device and boot you into your bootloader. Now connect your HTC One to your computer. Now click on get token ID in the toolkit and a prompt with display saying to enable USB debugging which we already have done and just hit OK. Your device will now boot into fastboot and two command prompts will appear on your computer. Close the first one and leave the second one open. Now here's the token that we're going to need. Right click on the command prompt and select mark. Now highlight the first arrow all the way to the end to the very last arrow and just right click again to copy it. Now that you have finished copying your token ID, exit the command prompt and then head over back to the toolkit and click on submit token ID in the toolkit. Which will take you to the HTC dev website where you're going to be able to paste the token ID. So make sure you're signed into your HTC dev account and at the bottom paste your token ID and hit submit. HTC will now email you an unlock code.bin file to unlock the bootloader on your phone. Download the unlock code bin file to your desktop or wherever you want to. Just remember that location of the file since we're going to need it in this next step. If you have any important files on your device or anything important like your pictures, music, make sure to back all of that up on your phone since we're going to be unlocking the bootloader in the next step and it will erase, I mean it will erase everything on your HTC One. Now click on the unlock bootloader in the toolkit and it prompt with display saying that it will wipe all your phone's files and to have your phone booted into the bootloader. Once you hit OK on the prompt, a window will appear to locate your unlock code bin file. So locate it and open it. Afterwards, another command prompt will appear again and this will begin to flash your unlock code.bin file to your device so you can unlock your bootloader. Now head over to your HTC One and it will ask if you want to unlock your bootloader and of course you want to hit yes, right? This is why we're doing this, right? <laughs> so use the volume keys to scroll up and hit the power button to confirm on yes. Your phone will now reboot into Android and your bootloader will be unlocked. Now head over to the toolkit again and now we're going to flash a custom recovery. Okay here's where I had a bunch of trouble installing a custom recovery. It just couldn't install the recovery on my HTC One. So hopefully this helps you guys out. Now go to your HTC One and make sure USB debugging is enabled and make sure to plug it into your computer again. In the toolkit click on boot into bootloader. Once in the bootloader make sure your device is tampered as well as unlock. If it says that, then ignore this next part that I'm about to say. If it doesn't say tamper, click on clear cache in the toolkit and power your device off for 30 seconds. Yes, make sure you count them 30 seconds or you can leave it off for longer. And then boot your phone into Android and make sure USB debugging is enabled again. And in the toolkit, click on boot into bootloader once again. Hopefully now your device is tampered and unlocked. Now we're ready to flash a custom recovery. You can choose from Clockroom Mod and TWRP Recovery. I prefer Clockroom Mod for some reason since it's more easy for me to use instead of TWRP but sometimes I prefer TWRP. Just your choice. So just select your recovery and then hit OK. So two command prompts will appear on your screen. Exit out of the first command prompt and the second one will start to flash your recovery. Once that's done you can select your recovery by using the power buttons and the power key to confirm the selection. So now you have unlocked your bootloader and flash a custom recovery. Congrats, now it's time to root your one. Head over to the link down in the description. I'll label it saying root me or something else like saying I'm root or yeah. Just head over to the description down in the video and click on that link and download the super SU file and transfer it over to your device. Now power off your device and hold the down volume key and power button to boot into the bootloader and select recovery. 
From there, we're going to flash the zip file. So search for your super SU zip file and select it and flash it. Once that's done, reboot your phone back into Android and you will have root access now. So congratulations, you finally installed a custom recovery and rooted your HTC One as well as unlocked the bootloader. Now go ahead and explore the development part of the HTC One by flashing ROMs. I'll post a link in the description of all the XDA forms of the HTC One variants so you, that way you guys could flash ROMs. Well guys, I hope that helped you out and shout out to my good old friend DMK Android who actually posted a video of this first. So make sure you guys go ahead and check him out and also make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more HTC One videos. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.